I've missed you guys. I've been MIA. I know I've been, I have no excuses. I've been slacking on my Mac and honestly. Um, so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about where I've been, what's been going on before I even get to the topic of the video because you guys have been slapping my little DM and I love it though. Like my DM request has been so full of just questions of like, where you been? Like, when's the new video gonna upload? Like, I love it. I really love it because I don't know. It just keeps me motivated to keep going because like, wow, you guys really like my videos. So I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> But anyway, so I have been MIA a little bit because I PCS from California to Virginia and it wasn't really like a hard PCS, but it was kind of like, they left me in the slumps. I didn't really want a PCS from California because I didn't make a lot of friends, but I made like, I had just started making friends and it's summertime. I want to be outside in California, in LA, like, you can't be outside hanging now. <laughs> <laughs> who don't want to be outside in LA like what the heck but it is what it is so now I'm in Virginia and I'm not even outside I'm in the house 25 8 makes no sense my little hot girl summer is gone my last summer I was in boot camp and now I'm out and I ain't got no friends so I'm not outside that ain't make no sense I need to make some friends but I'm not <sighs> that's the only point of the video but yes, I PCS into Virginia. So this is my new duty station. This is my new command and I'm here. Um, I got a new car. It's, I love it. I love it. I love it. It's really nice. It hit all the criteria that I require. The car note is not a lot. Like, I love the car. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else am I up to? Nothing really. Oh, I popped into my family. Uh, like a little surprise. I stayed there for about like two days, a day. It was like literally a pop in. Like nobody knew I was coming in. I just popped in. Like, hey guys, I missed you guys, and I left. But that's okay. Um, yeah, it's all. I've really just been slacking on my Mac, and guys, I'm almost done with my last semester of my junior year at Notre Dame. So next year I'll be graduating my bachelor's, and I cannot wait. Okay, I could not wait to get my bachelor's in psychology because then can't nobody tell me nothing. Like, what? Excuse me. You see this degree? This is a degree. A degree, not a diploma, baby, a degree. A bachelor's at that. So, <laughs> cut it out. <laughs> but that's not even the point of the video. The point of the video is hairstyles for boot camp because you guys keep asking me. And I'm just gonna get down to the nitty gritty. I'm gonna tell you my opinion and my opinion only. I can't speak for everybody else, but I'm gonna speak for my opinion, my experience, and what I think you should do. Okay, so I feel like you should do straight backs like little cornrows that Cleo had and set it off because I thought those are the best for your hair like these are very protective they last like they'll last a full week they'll last holiday routines to the next holiday routine which is a week apart because holiday routines every Sunday so I feel like you should do straight backs that way you can wait you can sleep in every minute of sleep counts so if you're able to sleep in an extra five minutes because you have some cornrows baby get them cornrows so you can sleep in an extra five minutes like come on now but that's for me, like, I'm gonna try to get any sleep I can, baby. So if it's an extra 30 seconds, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> but yeah, so that happens. So yeah, I thought you should do cornrows, the Cleo braids, set it off braids, like maybe little ones, like not stupid little, but like little enough to where you don't have to worry about them uh, unraveling and stuff like that, depending on what hair texture you have. Uh, I would, I did like maybe eight in my head when I would do my straight backs because I didn't want them too little to ever take them too long to take them out, but I didn't want them too big to really like they look chunky. I don't know how to explain it. I braided them down like I'm about to throw a wig on if that makes sense. So yeah, that's what I did. Um, what else? What else? What else? I don't recommend box braids. I know I seen you guys in my comments talking about like wearing box braids to. Uh, boot camp. Speaking of my comments, you guys, I am so freaking sorry. I respond to comments so delayed, it makes no sense. And I promise you, it's honestly not my fault because YouTube does not tell me when I, I have somebody commenting on my page. So I have to go into the video and to look. And at one point, I couldn't even log into YouTube. So I was like, hmm, forget it. Like, I'll figure it out when I figure it out. But then I was like, I kept getting DMs like, where are you? Am um, I commenting on your post? Didn't respond. Yada, yada, yada. And I was like, okay, nah, I feel bad. So let me get my life together. So I contacted YouTube when they gave me my stuff. So yeah. 
so that's from other comments anyways so yes i don't recommend box braids i feel like it's a hassle and it's pointless first of all i said that because box braids are heavy per se yeah, not like the box braids are good, but they're heavy. You have to wear them in that bun every day. As soon as you wake up, your hair is in a bun. Your hair is in a bun all day until you go to sleep. And that's like 10 hours, 12 hours that you're up just doing stuff. Who wants to carry that bun around all day? I'm sure wouldn't. So I would recommend box braids for that. And then you're going to sweat depending on what time like of the year you have to go to boot camp. You might sweat a little bit or you might sweat tremendously. Like when I went to boot camp, baby, fuck, the gates of hell opened. It was hot as hell out there. And I was sweating. I was sweating. So I know if somebody had a big old bun of box braids, I know they were sweating too. Like the girls that um, were in my division and they had box braids in, they took them out by the time we graduated from boot camp. They didn't leave those box braids in there. I don't know if it was because they stuck to them or they just wanted to take them out their hair because they got frizzy or what. But I'm telling you this, they didn't leave with them box braids. So yeah, that's one reason. They stink, they're heavy. Uh, well, they can't stink. Let me not just say they stink. Don't hop on my case. They can stink. They're heavy. Um, these are my opinions. Again, my opinions. And it's a hassle trying to take them out in boot camp. So you're gonna have to get scissors. And I already see somebody with the scissors. And if somebody sees you cutting out like the box braid hair, if I un like. A different race of person sees you different race of person just roll with the guys if a different race sees you cutting out your hair they could feel like you're cutting out your real hair not realizing that you're cutting out fake hair because everybody doesn't know what braiding hair is and I mean yeah we're in 2022 but huh, I don't know some people just don't know that it's braiding hair and then you couldn't get in trouble because they can go to the RDC like, hey, so-and-so was cutting out their hair in the bathroom and the RDC is going to be like, you were cutting hair in the bathroom? Woo, woo, woo. And a whole mess is going to happen all because this person doesn't know what fake hair is, aka braiding hair. Then you're going to have to tell the RDC like, I wasn't cutting my real hair, I was cutting out the fake hair so I could take it out of my hair. And it's just a hassle. Like, I personally don't like explaining myself, so I would just avoid the whole process. And then, how are you going to get the scissors? Because most RDCs Never that. Most of the time, you don't want to even go to the fishbowl because you go to the fishbowl, you feel like, all right, my guy, knock on the door and stuff, and then you don't know if they're going to be in a good mood, a bad mood. They might tell you to get the fuck away from them. Like, you have no idea. So, I personally still try to avoid going to the fishbowl when I was young, man. I don't know. It's just me. But yeah, so it's just a hassle trying to take them out in boot camp. Like, it's time consuming. Um, you gotta wash your hair right after you take them out. It's gonna just look nasty on that gunk, like right there on your roots where your hair, your new growth is. Like, it's just not worth it to me. Um, yeah, it's just not worth it to me. And then another style that you can do for boot camp is twist out. So, like a two strand twist, you can. <laughs> so, another style that you can do for boot camp is like two strand twist. So, everybody knows what those is. And if you don't, just watch a YouTube video. Look up two strand twist. But it's two strand twist with your natural hair, and if your hair like has that good decent of shrinkage, you can wear your two strand. Tw your, you can wear. You can wear your two strand twist down if you're like your shrinkage keeps it above like the collar of your end dubs. End dubs is your camo uniform, so nothing can go below your camo uniform. Period. Like the collar of it, the collar. So this is called a collar, guys. If you don't know, this is called a collar. And on the end of, if your hair drapes below the back of the, uh, or two inches below, three inches, it's a certain amount of something below the collar that you cannot have. So if you have shrinkage and your shrinkage keeps you above the collar, you are good to go. You can wear your hair down in your two strand twist because it is in regs and your hair will be neat. Period, point blank. It looks neat. Hair's in regs. They can't fault you for that. So those are really like the only styles that I really wore in boot camp. I wore braids and I did two strands twist once and then my RDC was like, it's below the collar, you gotta put it in a bun. And I was like, bro, the whole point of me even putting two strand twists in my hair was so I didn't have to put it in a bun. So I just took the two strand twist out and got my braids back. Um, so for the bun thing, I personally don't really like putting my hair in a bun. I feel like it's damaging to the hair because the bun is so tight and your hair is so slicked. When I say slick, I mean not a hair out of place and the bun is really tight on your head. 
and airing your hair. So I did my hair in a bun three or four times. Three, no, four times, four times in total. It won't be technical. So my first time doing my hair in the bun, like a slick bun, military style with the sock bun, was when we took our individual pictures that we sent home to our parents. And our individual pictures are like this. That's it. <laughs> That's the picture. <laughs> so I did my hair in a bun that day. And then when we did our like division pictures when we're standing there and I was like this, <laughs> I did my hair in a bun that day. And then when we were graduating, I did my hair in a bun that day. And that's because, baby, I was on camera, camera, like, it was on Facebook Live. My mama was going to see me. She might be talking about me, like, my daughter didn't do her hair. Nope, my hair was slit. I just laid. Yes, I was pressure on my graduation, okay? And I didn't even have nothing on but no, uh, some dress whites and a slick bun. But I look good in my dress whites, okay? <laughs> and then the fourth time I did my slick bun, which I don't even know if this counts, but it does was when I was leaving boot camp to go to San Diego. And leaving boot camp was like really sad for me because I cried, I was gonna miss my little friends, my two friends that I made. But I still talk to them every now and then, so it's okay. Um, But yeah, so I did a slick bun very rarely. Like I had to be on cami camera to do a slick bun. And I had to know I was gonna be on camera. That was the only reason I was gonna do a slick bun. If I wasn't gonna be on camera, I would wear straight backs. And the only reason I wasn't wearing straight backs on camera is because I had a big forehead. Period. My mom's gonna be like, forehead is shining. No, absolutely not. I wanted to slick bun, I wanted to look good anytime I was on camera. And I don't care about nobody seeing me with my little braids while I was in a regular decorative boot camp because <laughs> we're in regular decorative boot camp. But if I'm on camera boot camp, it's different. I need to look good. <laughs> That's just my opinion. So. But yeah, so I would recommend uh, straight backs, two strand twist, and the bun for special occasions i.e. graduation, two times you take pictures, and when you're leaving to go to your other command. Those are the times I recommend doing that slick bun to make sure you look good, okay? Because first impression is everything. You need pressure, pressure, period. We always put in pink eyes. Um, another thing that I saw done in boot camp was this girl had a wig mailed to her, and she cut it into a bob, and she was able to wear it. And this wig was cute, okay? Don't get it twisted. Her wig was cute. It was a curly, wet and wavy wig. And she had her of uh, her folks mail her some got to be glued and she was like let it air dry she had a wig cap and she threw that sucker on baby and she was looking good though her wig was looking good too like it was cute okay and she wore it for our pictures and it was real cute and she did cut it though because i remember when she got it she had worn a bun for like two days and i think she was just over the bun idea and then she cut it into like this really cute little curly bob and it was cute and then another thing we had done in boot camp this girl had braided hair mailed to her and she did her hair in uh, box braids for graduation like, i think it was like it was two weeks before graduation then she got her braided hair mailed to her and she did box braids and then she just touched up like the front for graduation so that it would look fresh and so how they got like the braided hair and the wig mailed to them so their folks like the people back home mailed it to them and then the open the package in front of the RDC. The RDC was like, hey, right? If it can fit in your A and B drawer, you can keep it. So they stuffed some packages in the A and B drawer. And then after taps, because you cannot do this stuff during a uh, wake up, like when everybody's up and roaming. So after taps, they were laying their wigs and braiding their, uh, putting their braids in, their box braids in, and stuff like that. So yeah, you could do that. You could have hair mailed to you if, if you your preference is to wear box braids. You can have braiding hair mailed to you. But my preference wasn't to wear box braids, so I didn't have braided hair mailed to me. And I was too hot to be wearing a wig, so I didn't have a wig mailed to me either. I just wear my gel braids. I call them Cleo braids, set them off. You know. <laughs> so yes, I hope that helped. So I know I said a lot and I'm kind of fast. I'm trying to work on like talking slower, guys. But my brain moves a lot faster than my lips. I try to get it all out before I forget. I try to get it all before I forget. So, yeah. So, all right, we're gonna go back. We're gonna like talk about exactly what I said, the hairstyles, okay? Straight backs, AKA your Cleo set it off braids. Straight backs, straight backs, straight back. And they gotta be straight back. You can have them little funky designs like the zigzag or the heart and stuff like, no, straight backs, straight back. Sometimes I would do two French braids too, but 
they don't even last as long. So I just did straight backs and I'm like six, eight, twelve, you know, good numbers. Uh, yes, straight backs. Wear those. Wear those. I'm gonna protect that hair. Wear them straight backs and then the little uh, like hang time that you have, just ball it up in a ball and put hair tie on it. Boom, look good to go. And you could just wake up in the morning. Maybe I had edge control boot camp with an edge breast, so I would do my little edges swoop the dupe in the morning. Yeah, that's all I do. So you could do your straight backs. You do two strand twists or twisties, whatever you call them. I think they're called two strand twists though. And then you could have wig melt to you or you could have braided hair melt to you and you can do it like that. And then do your bun, that military slick bun look good bun for special occasions. Okay, so we, we got it, we got it. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again just in case. Straight backs, AKA your set of off Clio braids, okay? Downtown Federal. That's straight backs, aka or set it off Cleo braids. Two strand twist or twisties, whatever you guys call them. You can have a wig mailed to you. You can have <laughs> you can have braid hair mailed to you. Or you can do French braids. French That was dumb. <laughs> French braids with up here. Or you can do your um your slick back military bun. For special occasions that I recommend doing the bun for because it's not that many special occasions so everybody ain't gonna know like damn she look good with this bun. <laughs> damn! <laughs> hey, <laughs> didn't nobody cute in boot camp but I'm just saying like you know you gonna feel good with your little bun and your edge slick and <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's just me though. Don't be like me. But yeah. So one more time. We're gonna do it one more time. Straight backs, Cleo set them off braids. Uh, you can have braided hair mailed to you. You can have a wig mailed to you. You can do two strand twists and the old slick back military style bun for special occasions, period. Slick back military bun for special occasions. And when I say like slick back military bun, I mean like a sock bun. I'm looking around because I thought I had my sock bun on the table, but I don't. But if you guys want me, I, I know how to make a sock bun like out of a sock, which is weird, I guess. <laughs> but it works and it helps. So if you guys would like for me to um, like make a video on how like to make a sock bun, I can definitely do that for you. Or if you want, like, want me to make a braiding video, I can do that for you. I won't put like hair in and then I'll just wear my real hair and attempt to like show you guys how to like do a straight back. Just one straight back though. I'm not going to do a whole bunch of them. Uh, I can make a video on doing my slick back military bun. Uh, I can't make a video on doing box braids, guys. I don't have the patience for that. I don't even like wearing box braids, honestly. They're too heavy, hurt my head. Uh, wigs, I have a wig video up already, so I'm not doing a video on that. You can just scroll down and find that wig video. But yes, as always, feel free to DM me any questions, comment any questions, any concerns. I promise, I promise, I promise, I'm going to get so much better on posting and um, commenting back to you guys' comments on YouTube because you guys have my DM, like, sometimes it'd be funny and y'all be mad for it. Y'all be like, I commented on your video three weeks ago, you didn't respond, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, I didn't even see it. It's like, sorry. So to avoid that, I have definitely, like, made sure my iPad gets notifications, my MacBook, my phone, and even, like, every day I check, like, my uh, YouTube notifications on all my videos like all the comments see if the comments changed and i'll read the comments to make sure i respond to everybody at least every day or every other day i've been doing that so yes like definitely 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 feel free to comment on my videos don't forget to like on the videos and share the videos of course dm me family members are allowed to dm me family members are allowed to ask me questions i love when family members reach out like because i don't think my mom reached out to anybody but i like that you guys family members reach out to me that makes me feel really good you know so yeah to continue to reach out to me uh and i do send off uh packages to boot camp i have sent off packages to boot camp actually i think i sent off four so far yeah four i sent off four packages so far so yeah always free feel free feel <laughs> always feel free to message me on any social media platform that i have whether it's facebook you add me on snapchat you DM me on Instagram. DMing me is probably the fastest way, honestly, or messaging me on Facebook because Snapchat, I'm not really, I post, but I don't really accept people's requests that fast. 
because I was like, who is this person? Who did they mean add me by search? <laughs> or just comment on the video and I'll eventually see it. But if you want like a response fast, like within that day, or like within, within that hour, I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend DMing me on Instagram because I'll get that notification right away. But yes, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope the video helps you girls understand how to protect your hair in boot camp and what hairstyles you can wear in boot camp so you can stop stressing. I wouldn't say can wear, but what hairstyles I would recommend wearing in boot camp so you guys stop stressing and just enjoy the process of getting ready to go to boot camp because baby girl, you about to be a sailor now. Like, what are you stressing for? Enjoy the moments. Enjoy the last minutes of a uh, regular civilian lifestyle because the military is a lifestyle. We all know that. So, yes, as always, be blessed, be safe, make smart decisions, and reach out to me if you have any questions, okay? Bye.